Okay, so hello dears! Ayan, so welcome uh, yet again to another pre-recorded lecture in our class in Immunology and Serology Laboratory. And for this lecture, what we're going to discuss now is your syphilis serology. Okay, so before we start now, so medyo change venue ta. <laughs> you may be wondering na, asa mo sister? Like, what is this place, di ba? So, lagi niya na venue compared sa ito mga pre-recorded le lectures before. So, um, I'm in my home. I'm in my house. Okay, so sa akin room and everything. So, I don't judge. <laughs> uh, because yan, napin mga problems sa AK and mahado pa po kumubalik dito. So, that's why I made, I found a way para mapadayan dyan ko na sa atong pre-recorded lectures na yun, Ani, na mag-lecture with the projector and all that. So, may gani, nakaw lang ako projector, thank God, okay? And then, yeah, the show must go on and I don't want po na mo-lecture ko na mag-loom rasigi uh, because... I don't want. <laughs> Mas bilhin na ako siya ma-explain mag Mas okay yun ni na I'm red. Uh, whiteboard, di ba? Yes, whiteboard. Actually, fun fact, mali siya akong whiteboard na ginagamit before. Di rin ako ginabuta akong schedule sa tala na akong exam sa third year. Wala lang share. But anyway, nandiyan po siya. May pa siya ni stage. Joke joke lang. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so, napi mga problems sa AK contest. Kung nang wala pa ko dito. And I don't know if makabalik na pa ko dito. So, I'm gonna finish the remaining lectures natin here in my house. So, um, if you have watched or if you have seen my, my videos on parasitology na lab, katong pink ang background, yes, sa ibang part yun ng bahay. So, <laughs> basin ako ng libuto na kung tanang balay, uh, kung ang parts, de, <laughs> ang lugar na balay kung asa dyan ang chada. But, yeah, so I still hope that I will be able to deliver the lesson properly. Um, bahala ginani ang, ano, ang, sorry, ang setup. Okay, so I just hope lang yun. Alright, basta anything for you guys. Char, basta ma-deliver lang yun ang lesson. Okay, alright. So, again, medyo na-backlog ta, no, sa pre-recorded lecture. So, I really apologize. Because again, of what happens sa AK, na mga problems dito. Basta, so, muna wala ko naka-record na yun. And then, nadugay po acquire projector and all that. So, muna na-backlog. So, I apologize. So, muna nga, paspas juko, uh, paspas juko apas. Okay? Alright, but, yeah, so, daming chika. But anyway, what's your context, Ani? Why are we here? Nga 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 <laughs> Alright, so again, uh, for this pre-recorded lecture, what we're going to talk about now is the serology of syphilis. So I'm sure you're all familiar with syphilis, no? Um, it's a bacterial disease, yes. Um, so, so far, at mga lectures, we're all focusing now on the diagnosis of diseases based on their serological tests available, okay? So, um, we're, and most of these tests, again, or most of these diseases, they use mga labeled immunoassays, di ba? Um, and we have discussed bacterial disease na starting with your um, streptococcus pyogenes, di ba, na serology. But the tests there, we're focusing more on agglutination and precipitation, di ba? So, for now, we're going to look into another bacterial disease, and that is your syphilis, okay? Alright, so this is your syphilis serology. Okay, so before we start, we'll talk first about the disease. So, of course, um, your syphilis, venereal syphilis, is, of course, an STI. It's an STD, sexually transmitted disease. And if I'm not mistaken, it's considered to be the most common STD in the U.S. Okay, in the Philippines, I'm not sure, but, of course, there have been reports of syphilis. And um, it's a very common STD, STI, in, your, in the Philippines. Okay, so it's sexually transmitted. It's caused by a, what is that? Of course, it's caused by a spirochete. Nako, yes. So, recall in your bacteriology, mga spirochetes, di ba? And I also mentioned in your intro to micro, na remember pa ba atong um, mnemonic, Anna? This is your, di ba? Uh, BLT, yes. You have Borrelia, uh, Leptospira, and of course, Treponema. Okay. Yeah, kinsa may nag-cause sa syphilis, aning tulo? Nako, dapat alam na, alam na. It's your letter D, the treponema. Okay, and leptospira siya to my question mark appearance. Yes, na hooked ends. Alright, so I hope na remember pa sa mga basics na lang. So that's in back test. So we're not going to focus on that na because you're you're done with back test. Na survive na yung akong favorite subject. So, <laughs> we'll, not, we'll not go into that na. Okay. Alright, so again, it's caused, uh, also known as what you call your great pox, your evil pox, or your Italian, French, or Spanish disease. Yes. Um, because syphilis, in a brief history lang, it was, this was a disease considered to be uh, transmitted or um, that, this was a disease that Christopher Columbus, yes, uh, transmitted from the new, old world to the new world. So, si Christopher Columbus, diba, he was attributed to discovering the American islands, diba? That's why it's, um, 
uh, siya ang nag-discover ko no, sa Christopher Col- uh, sa, sa Christ- siya yung naka-discover sa yung America alright so pag ato niya dito that's why it's called New World because New World is something new na discover nila um, Christopher Columbus transmitted this disease it was uh, known to be syphilis daw ang na-transmit ni Christopher Columbus from the old world to the new world so kato na mga, na- mga natives mga indigenous tribes already living or inhabiting the American islands okay kato ilang na-discover so it was Christopher Columbus daw this was the disease daw that Christopher Columbus was attributed to transmitting <laughs> to these people sa American islands okay so that's why it's also called Italian French Spanish disease also known as your great pox, evil pox. Aside from that, syphilis is also known as your, uh, the disease that's known as your great imitator. Imitator. The great pretender. Tinglata mo, four seizures in wedding. But anyway, great imitator, yes. Why? Because uh, most of the symptoms of syphilis, they are the same with, uh, with that of normal diseases. Okay? So like mga fever, mga... I am like few uh, among you know body aches fatigue whatever so they have the same uh, syphilis has the same symptoms as that with the rest of your other diseases that's why it's called your great imitator then okay all right so mga other names to syphilis and of course um, for earlier treatment um, we use the heavy metal arsenic 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 okay and uh, but it's now uh, replaced by your penicillin, yes, penicillin and doxycycline. Okay, um, if you watch Grey's Anatomy, yes, di ba, mga earlier seasons, mga season one, season two, I think season one, um, there was an episode of syphilis na si, um, <laughs> nalimutan ko sa mga names, but si, yeah, nai naka contract to syphilis dito, and they just told them na, and they just told him na, um, you, you, it's treatable with penicillin, okay, with penicillin. So, Ayan. So, <laughs> daming chica mark. But again, that's the disease. Okay, some of its um, information. Okay. Um, and the disease is also easier to detect in men. Okay, because it's more apparent. Okay, it's more, um, uh, mas makita siya. Okay, in men. That's why it's very easy. Later, we'll go into the stages of syphilis. You'll understand. Um, yeah, so it's easier to detect in men compared to women. Okay, all right. Now, we go now to the agent. Again, what's the positive agent? It's caused by your Treponema pallidum subspecies. Pallidum. Formerly, it's uh, Spirocheta pallida, 1905. So, it's Treponema pallidum, subspecies pallidum. Because there are a lot of other Treponema species, Treponema pallidum, mga subspecies, na it's not really causing syphilis, but other mga, mga diseases like mga yaws, mga um, whatever, mga cutaneous infections. No? But for syphilis um, itself, the causative agent is Treponema pallidum, subspecies pallidum. Very easy to remember. Same ang species, same din ang subspecies. So, Treponema pallidum, subspecies pallidum. Okay. Alright. Now, it's it belongs to the family spiro, Spirochetaceae. Okay? Spirochetaceae. So, mga spirochetes. So, it's long. It is long, slender, helically coiled, gram-negative, microaerophilic bacteria. So, meaning, microaerophilic, di ba? It only requires a small amount of oxygen. And aside from that, again, it's spirochete, so spiral, diba? Spiral. And aside from that, it contains what we call your, remember pa, yes, bakte? It contains endoflagella or your axial filaments. It's what caused it to move, diba? So your endoflagella or axial filaments, endo, when I say endo, it's inside, so it's within the um, organism. So nakapalupot siya, no, it's twisting, the ang flagella kay nakatwist within the organism. That's why, um, it now gives its characteristic modality, which is your corkscrew. So, corkscrew ka ng, di ba, if mo open ka ang buhay ng night court, di ba, mo turn, pag pa-turn, imuha motility. So, inanihan ang motility. Okay? So, inanihan ang picture, gif, oh, di ba, corkscrew. So, as you can see, spirochete, spiral organism. Okay. And again, it's caused by, the movement is caused by your endo at flagella or axial filament. So, it's the flagella that are within the organism itself. Okay? That's why, pag turn sa flagella, Mutern po siya, similar to a quartz crew. Okay? Alright, so I hope na gets ng basic bakte. Okay? Alright, ayan. Now, how do we get or how do you get um, syphilis? Of course, it's direct sexual transmission. Usually through an ab- uh, abraded skin, meaning nabuba na skin, or like uh, na open sore or whatever. Okay? And of course, um, uh, 30 to 50% ang transmissions among patients with active lesions, meaning the lesions itself contain 
um, live na mga treponemes or mga spirochetes. So, mas hydro ang transmission because of course, in the lesions themselves, you have the organism. And usually, these lesions, uh, they start with the reproductive organ, especially sa males, sa penis, do? and sa females, not really kayo, but sa, sa males are mas evident. Okay, later, we'll know that. <laughs> okay, and other potential motor transmissions, congenital, yes, from clinically latent mother and parental exposure, which is rare, like mga blood transfusion, um, your um, percutaneous needle in injuries, no, it's very rare. All right, why? Why do you think, um, na mention naman sa blood bank, what is the organism, or, or why is it that syphilis cannot be transmitted if blood transfusion? Do you do you remember? Baka, or baka na mention na ba? Why it's not? It's because syphilis, di ba, is very susceptible to your cold, heat, and drying out. And remember that your blood bags or your blood components, they are stored at very cold temperatures. Your syphilis cannot survive um, less than 4 degrees Celsius yata. And or at 4 degrees Celsius, mamatay na siya. Nalimot na ko. But that's the reason why syphilis is, um, or treponema pallidum, subsidies pallidum, cannot be transmitted through your blood components. Because again, they, they die during storage, okay? Because they cannot stand the cold temperature, di ba? Your blood components, your blood bags, they are all stored at ref refrigerator temperature depending on the components, na pay less than 20, liba less than 10, di ba? So, it will depend on the components. That's why, if there's a question in blood bank, what is the least transmissible disease, okay, in your blood bags or something, then of course, that's your, press the buzzer, that's syphilis. Why? Because they easily die, the organisms easily die during cold, uh, in the cold environment. Okay, so sana naman na mention I think wala pa na but uh, additional, uh, early information, early information. <laughs> okay, alright, ayan. Now that's for the mode of transmission. Now we go on to the different stages of the disease. So uh, for the stages of the disease, it starts first with your primary syphilis. Of course, for primary syphilis, um, it starts with the entry of the organism into the infected skin site. So the bas mentioned, it's direct sexual transmission. So during sex, if there is like an abraded, no, there is a, a sore, there is a wound, a abraded um, wound or open source, whatever, or in your skin mismo, they can also penetrate the mucous membranes in a man. So uh, through that, no, the organisms, because of our corkscrew motility and other virulence factors and spirochetia, no, so it can now enter into your site and it, it commences or it starts your primary syphilis. Okay, and the lesion now is known as your hard chancre. Ayan, so I think, yes, back then naman, diba? Hard chancre, this is painless, okay? Painless hard, hard chancre that develops between 10 to 90 days. So, diba? Hard chancre syphilis. Now, kinsa ang soft, ayan, sana naman, the number na. Sana na emphasize to sa back then. Sino ang soft, ayan, soft chancroid. Ayan, ala. Soft chancroid, which is painful. Okay, kinsa the guy? Sige. Mga five minutes. So, sure, five minutes. Five, four, three. Press the buzzer. Kinsa many? C. H. Hemophilus Ducrae. Allah. Na remember pa ba ang bacteria? Yes. Soft chancroid. So, oid meaning chancre like. Okay, because it, it mimics or it, it looks similar to a chancre, but it's not really a chancre. Okay, it's soft chancroid. Sino yan? Kinsa yung positive agent? Hemophilus Ducrain. Ako, sana na-remember pa. Na-remember pa. Sa may mga character 16H Ducrain. Diba? Uh, only requires X-factor ba? Sakto ba? And, iahang gum stain, railroad track appearance, fingerprint appearance, school of fish. Nako. Hi, nako. Sana naman. Sana naman. Na-remember pa ang bacter. But, if not, then... Sige na lang. Okay, na, let's review. Review na gapon siya. So, basta akong soft chancroid. That is... Hemophilus influen ah, influenzae, Hemophilus ducrae, sorry. Pero kung hard chancre, which is painless, that is now your Treponema pallidum, subspecies pallidum, or syphilis. Okay, mga pop quiz lang sa bacteria. Ano naman na-remember ko? Okay, alright. Now, these lesions, um, they heal spontaneously, okay? And uh, they can last from one to six weeks. Now, that's the concern because they heal spontaneously. So, the patient may think that, ah, okay, this sore is not painful, no? Okay lang siya, maybe it's just because I'm just uh, too much ang pag, pagligo, nasama, well, naligo ko, whatever. So, makomplacent ang patient. So, pwede siyang dili magpa-check up. Okay? Alright. So, yeah, it heals spontaneously pag yun. Within one to six weeks, mawala siya. Alright. But, um, the syphilis or the organism is still there. Okay? <laughs> so, here's an example of your um, 
primary chunker. It's in the shaft of your penis, of your nuance. Okay, <laughs> that is why <laughs> what I like to say, you always have to examine your specimen. Okay, always, always examine your specimen both inside and outside the laboratory. In all aspects of your life, examine your specimen. It's for your good, it's for your own safety. Okay, that's why lights on kasi Okay, what? <laughs> because so that we can examine our specimens properly. Okay, so lights on. Yes, okay. <laughs> examine your specimens, ha? Examine your specimens well. Okay, okay. So how can you examine? With the use of a light. That's not lights on. Okay, so examine your specimen. So that's for primary syphilis. Now, if the patient, again, doesn't know that, ah, okay, this lesion is primary chancre, whatever, okay, raman ko, I feel fine, I did not feel any pain, nawala raman po siya after one to six weeks, then magpalagay lay lang, magpa-complacent, no? So, dili lang siya magpa-check up. So, what happens is the organism is still there, although wala nang lesions, but it can now progress to the second stage, which is your secondary syphilis. Now, these, in this um, stage, uh, again, it came from an untreated primary stage, um, magsugod na disseminate ang imuhang organism. Okay? So, dira na magsugod ang disseminate. And aside from that, uh, it occurs one to two months after the primary chunker disappears. So, napay gamay na leeway. Okay? Napay grace period before mag-start. But here, nanay dissemination. Okay? Magsugod na siya o go to other organs of your body. Okay. Ayan. And ang um, symptoms are generalized lymph adenopathy and rashes in the skin and mucous membrane. So, mang, mang, mang sakit yung mga lymph nodes, no, mga enlarge, and nabok kay mga rashes, and um, yeah, rashes. Okay, alright. So, that's for secondary syphilis. So, another sim other symptoms, you have malaise, di ba? So, as you can see, uh, the symptoms are really quite um, very common with the other diseases. Malaise, fever, pharyngitis. Some also, 40% have neurologic involvement. So, nana siya um uh, you know, mga uh, na eye problem na with thinking, no consciousness, and all that. And mga delayed uh, hearing loss, visual disturbances. So, 40% of the cases may, may involve already the CNS. Okay, and lesions, uh, which are called their condylomata lata, it persists now from a few days up to eight weeks, followed by again spontaneous healing of the lesions, as in uh, primary syphilis. Now, these condylomata lata are again still painless and they look like warts. Okay, and they develop in warm, moist sites of the genitals and perineum. Okay, so gusto nila mga mainit na mabasa basa Okay, <laughs> the areas of your genitals. So sa groin, sa perineum, meaning in your in your anus, no? There, in the skins there. Okay, so it's condylomata lata. Again, painless, wart-like lesion. So that's in the secondary syphilis. Okay, now again, still the same. The patient is, wala na dyan po naka-feel of anything. Wala dyan po siya naka-feel of... Um, push no or urge to pa check up so yan siya kung ipasagdaan now this secondary syphilis can now progress to what we call your latent syphilis now latent syphilis is as you can see within the of latent you don't feel any symptoms okay there's a lack of clinical uh, symptoms now there are two phases you have early latent which is infection is less than one year old and late latent late latent okay which is greater than one year old now patients at this stage they are non-infectious okay uh, but it's during this stage that pregnant women can now transmit the, the treponemes or the, the worms, sorry, <laughs> the mix of para, sorry, the treponemes or your uh, bacteria the, or your spiral organisms, spirochetes, to the baby. Okay, so this is where congenital um, transmission happens. Okay, transplacentally, in, transplacentally um, infection, yes. Uh, even if uh, they appear asymptomatic, that's for latent syphilis. Okay. Now, latent syphilis, so wala kayo na feel, pak, so abin yung buong kinaka, then boom! <laughs> Parang mening B, pak ganarn, boom ganarn, boom ganarn, boom! So, balik na po ka with tertiary syphilis, which is now, which now consists of much, much uh, severe, more severe na na mga symptoms. Uh, it occurs in one-third of untreated individuals. It can appear anywhere from months to years after the secondary stage, often between 10, 10 to 30 years. So, medyo taas yun ang latency, you know? 10 to 30 years. So, you can really think na, okay, I'm free, I don't feel anything. Okay, 10 to 30 years pagod after mo progress to um, uh, to your um, tertiary syphilis. But but it can, it can also even, um, ano pa di ay, progress even in months. Okay, pero when you are in the latency, magod na period, you, you think na, okay, I'm, I'm fine, wala na ko na feel, so mura but complacency Japan, diba? So, yes. And now you have um, major manifestations. You have gumato syphilis, cardiovascular disease. Uh, your treponemes are now in the heart. It can disrupt your heart. It can damage the muscles in the heart, no? And of course, neurosyphilis, which is very, very um, defining in your tertiary syphilis. The involvement now of your 
CNS. Although, diba, as mentioned, sa secondary na na CNS involvement, but it's not that common. Okay? In tertiary syphilis talaga, your um, treponemes have now invaded your brain or your CNS. Okay. Alright. So, this is an example of a guma. Okay. <laughs> Gumas, they are areas of inflammation. And inside the inflammation, inside the mass, consists of mga cells, consists of mga dead treponemes, no? And, um, yeah, represents the body's um, response, immune response to the infection. So it consists of the cells, tanan tanan. So these are lesions na mububag, okay? Uh, known as your gumas. Um, and neurosyphilis, as mentioned, but the name is not neurosyphilis, the organism is in the nervous system or in the CMS. Okay. Alright, now, neurosyphilis, complication, again, as mentioned, most often associated with the tertiary stage, but it can actually occur um, even after primary syphilis, okay, diba? So, secondary syphilis, about 40% of the cases, but it's much more common, or it's much defining in your tertiary syphilis, okay. Alright, now, neurosyphilis, uh, early manifestation is acute meningitis, so, inflammation of the meninges, so, maglabad yung ulo and all that in the first two years. And late manifestation is stabus dorsalis, uh, maguba or degenerating mga spinal cord. General paresis, paralysis is paralysis, and um, uh, chronic progressive dementia. Okay. General paresis pala is a uh, syphilitic alteration of the brain that leads to dementia and paralysis. So, it leads to insanity. So, magbuang na siya. Okay. Alright. Ayan. So, that's the complications if mapabayaan ang syphilis. If ma-detect rin as early as possible, maayo rin siya. You know, penicillin. Diba? So, very, very um, treatable. So, it's important, Jude, that the patient, kamo, as medtex, you really need to examine your specimen. And you are aware that your partner may or may have, um, may not or may have your chancre. So, if nandiyan yung chancre, papacheck na yun para mat matambalan. Okay. And of course, you have congenital syphilis. Um, woman, of course, pregnant woman, na early syphilis or latent syphilis, it transmits the organism now to your uh, baby or developing fetus. Perinatal death, uh, meaning namatay siya within the womb pa lang, okay, or during around the time of birth, namatay siya pag matay kay stillborn or wala siya nag ginahawa or something, it occurs in 10% of the cases. But if live-born infants are, you know, born, <laughs> usually uh, they don't have any clinical signs during the first few weeks of life. And some may even remain asymptomatic. And then 60 to 90 percent later develop the symptoms if not treated at birth. Okay, all right. Now, signs and symptoms you have necrotizing cunicitis, meaning inflammation of the umbilical cord. It's the first indication of the disease. So, na inflammation sa umbilical cord. Hemorrhagic rhinitis, so sa nose, magdugo dugo. All right. Skin eruption, maculopapular rash around the mouth, palms, and soles of your newborn, of the baby. Okay, and others, lipadenopathy, hepatosplenomegaly, jaundice, anemia, painful limbs, and bone abnormalities, and also even neurosyphilis. So these are all um, seen, again, in the newborn. Okay, alright. Now, for the next video, okay, alright, of our lecture on syphilis serology, we're now going to start um, on the different methods, on laboratory methods in the diagnosis of syphilis, okay, and focusing more on the serological tests. Okay, so I'll see you on the next video.